because I want to make sure other birds see that the bird died from uh, falling from the nest, right? I didn't do anything to the bird, okay? That's the reason why I, I don't want to touch it. I want other birds to come and see, you know, what happened to that bird, you know what I mean? I don't want to be like, you know, get close to the bird. What if another bird fly by and then, you know what I mean? They, they say, oh yeah, that guy did it. <laughs> you know what I mean? The old uh, senior is like oh, over 70, right? He was pushing the trash out and he saw me. He's like, hey, Senior Johnny, what are you doing? <laughs> the way he said it with cracking voice, like, <laughs> so I look at him, I say, oh, hi, hi there, Daddy, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. Uh, he's all telling me, oh, when you catch the gopher, where are you going to put him? Don't tell me you can put him in my backyard. <laughs> he's so funny, he's like, don't, don't tell me you're going to put the gopher in my backyard. <laughs> you know, I look like, why would I do something like that? <laughs> well, maybe I would. Because <laughs> his backyard is newer, nicer than mine now. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Alright, so today I'm having tangerines. Alright, for uh, dessert. My, Because uh, this... Uh, this evening, I had uh, a pollo loco chicken for uh, lunch, and right now I'm having tangerine for my dessert, all right? So, uh, these are my tangerine. Well, I just display to uh, make it look so nice, you know, but I can't really finish all these, you know, there's like nine pieces, <laughs> you know? Because, you know, because when you eat a pollo loco, you know, the chicken is very messy. And trust me, you cannot film a, a, a video by eating that. You know, you can't eat and talk at the same time while, while eating that, right? So I'm just gonna film myself eating tangerine. But hey, you know, uh, most of you know that my channel is actually like a talk show. It's not like an eating channel or anything. You know what I mean? It's just like a talk show with a topic. You know what I'm eating. That's it. All right. So um, these are my tangerine. It's really uh, sweet. I like these. All right, guys, so today I'd like to share with you guys a story about the surrounding of my house, okay? So my house is surrounded by, um, by animals, all right? So let, let me tell you, um, there's actually two bird nests. One bird nest is right here, all right, all the way to the, the, the roof, the top of the roof, all right? There's a bird nest right there made out of sand or like clay or something, you know what I mean? All the way on the second floor, right there by the roof. And there's another bird nest right here, up in uh, the roof, right? But this bird nest right here, uh, the construction is really bad, so it's it's like it, it collapsed already, you know what I mean? So the, the birds, uh, lucky there's no birds inside. If not, you know, they, they're gonna die from the collapse, right? So if you wanna sue those birds, you know, they, they have to go to a bird court or something, to sue the construction who built that bird nest, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, so the bird nest here, it's still very durable. It's, it's very strong and it's been there for, I say, approximately uh, over two years already. That bird nest been there for over two years and there's actually birds there, all right? The other day I came outside, you know what I mean? I, I saw a dead bird right there on the floor where the nest is. So I look at the dead bird, I'm like, oh man, it's a baby bird, right? So I, I know for sure that baby bird, uh, fell from the, the nest, right? And then landed there and died, right? So I saw the dead bird there, and uh, in my mind, like, I'm not gonna touch it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get close to it, you know what I mean? The reason why is, you know what I mean? Because I wanna make sure other birds see that the bird died from uh, falling from the nest, right? I didn't do anything to the bird, okay? That's the reason why I, I don't wanna touch it. I want other birds to come and see, you know, what happened to that bird, you know what I mean? I don't wanna be like, you know, get close to the bird. What if another bird fly by and then, you know what I mean? They, they say, oh yeah, that guy did it. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, I'll, I'll be like, you know, being afraid for that, you know what I mean? So, so I, I didn't do nothing. I don't, I don't even want to get close or, or want to step outside. What if other birds saw you? Oh yeah, I saw a guy, he was next to that bird. So I think that guy, you know what I mean, right? 
<laughs> so then I'm like, all right, when I saw that, I, I you know, I, I don't step out, you know, I just stay inside. And then my wife, she came by and she was looking outside. She saw that uh, dead baby bird too. And, and she, she told me, oh, there's a dead bird there. Right? And I, I, I told her, yes, I know. I know, you know, uh, and then she said, aren't you going to do something like, you know, uh, take it and do something to it, you know, put it away or something, like, you know, trash or something, right? I said, no, just hold on, just wait for a little bit, okay? So I wait for like an hour or something until I see a, a couple birds, they land by the tree next to that dead bird, like you know, on the table and stuff. And then, you know, there's a couple, they flew by and they flew away. Okay, now someone saw that that bird probably died from fell it, right? So I went outside and I grabbed that bird with a shovel, right? And, and I bury it, okay? So that's one of the story. I bury the bird outside, you know what I mean? Uh, the reason why it takes me a while to bury the bird is because I want to make sure other birds see that I'm not the, the suspect, you know what I mean? That bird actually died from falling from the nest, all right? So that's one thing about uh, the surrounding my house. I have two bird nests, actually one now, right? Okay, so, so the birds, uh, I, I bury uh, the bird outside in the front lawn where it's next to the roses and stuff, all right? And then uh, in front of my lawn, there's bushes, right? There's actually wild rabbit living in that bush right there in front of my house, all right? In the bush on the side, all right? Uh, I think approximately like almost two years ago, there's actually a rabbit, all right? One rabbit, I see one rabbit. Right, and then now, after two years later, later, I see a whole family of rabbits in there. In the beginning, I saw baby rabbits, right? But now the baby rabbit, I think it turned big now. Uh, let me see, one time I saw approximately three rabbits, okay? Three rabbits in front of my lawn. One here, one here, and one pretty close to the other neighbors. Right, so three rabbits, so I saw exactly three. So the family grew to three, maybe more, I don't know. All right, so in that bushes, there's a lot of rabbits, all right? So there's actually, uh, I saw three rabbits. So it could be more, you know what I mean? So I, I, I don't know, but for sure I saw three rabbits at the same time. So there's at least three in that rabbit uh, family, all right? And the rabbits always run into the backyard eating grass, you know, very happily like that, you know what I mean? To the backyard, right? The backyard is like the playground, man. They run into the back, eat some grass, run to the front, and then run into the bushes. I know they're from the bushes, all right? And then I also have gopher in my, my backyard. The gopher stories, the, 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 the really insane story I'm about to tell you guys, man. The gopher do a lot of damage to your front yard and the backyard, all right? The gopher, back then, like two years ago, I saw the gopher. It's really small. Actually, my mom saw it. My mom uh, uh, saw it, it was on top of the wood. It's a baby gopher, right? And then me and my wife, and. So we look at it, oh, so cute, you know, so cute, right? We didn't do nothing to the gopher, right? And all of a sudden, the next day, you wake up, there's a hole, one hole. That small little baby gopher dig that hole, all right? Uh, and then next month later, you know, the, the hole get bigger, right? And I still, uh, I didn't do nothing to it, you know what I mean? And it grow bigger, and then it go bigger, <laughs> you know? Because they have to dig the, the sand from the ground up to here. So it's going to be like a mountain of um, of sand, right? And it, the sand, the mountain of sand grow bigger, bigger, bigger. That means there's a big tunnel underneath because they dig all the sand up uh, to, to the top, right? And then all of a sudden, there, there's more gopher hole, right? And then a month later, I see a gopher hole like down here, like six feet away from the, the main entrance, right? Six feet. And then, oh, it's fine, you know what I mean? And then, another, and then the next day, another gopher hole. So the, so the gopher is very talented, man. The way how they construct, it's like they built a line. One hole here, down here, another hole, and then another hole. It, it, it's very construction, man. They, they, they're really talented, hard worker, man. I, I think gopher is really talented, hard worker, all right? And then all of a sudden, uh, my back lawn, you know, it turned into a nice, beautiful green, lawn right after six months that lawn turned into like like i don't know man like a war zone man hole everywhere dude. <laughs> so i got mad you know i'm like what the heck dude you know because i tried to save that spot that little spot over there for you i keep like i i think i'm like i communicate with golf i said you know what come on just I give you that spot there so you can live peacefully, okay? Just live there, right? But the gopher is like, no, I want more spot. 
So they keep on, like, you know, dig the whole uh, backyard. So there's a hole everywhere, right? So I got mad one day, uh, one month, one day, right? I, I grab a stick, like a stick, right? I grab the sand, the sand amount of sand he digged out. I look for the hole, right? I drill the hole to, to find the tunnel, right? I put the sand back into the hole. I shove it, you know what I mean? I shove all the sand back in into the hole. So whatever sand he, he, he actually grabbed out of that tunnel, I put it all back into that hole and then shove it really tight and hard, right? So, so I put all the sand back into the hole, right? And the next day I woke up, all of that sand came back out. Each and every hole came back, all the sand came out. Wow, could you imagine, man? The gopher is really hard working, man. You know, because it takes me approximately close to one hour just to put all the sand into that hole. And I'm using hand and my strength pushing that sand into the, the hole, right? And, and, and the next day, you know, you see all the sand that I pushed into the hole? It's, he pushed it all out, all right? And, and the way how gopher works is they use their mouth, okay? Not hand or feet to dig tunnel. They use their hand like this. Like that, <laughs> right? That's how they grab the sand out of that tunnel into the thing. But then when I saw the gopher dig out, man, he looked really mad, dude. He looked, cause, cause uh, you know how my, my uh, uh, downstairs, you know how the computer, I, I mainly at the computer where, where I can look outside the window and then the, the window, I can see the backyard, right? So I looked and I saw uh, something's digging, right? Cause you know, the, the grass is moving. So I know the gopher's there. So he dig up the grass, right? And then every time he dig up, right? He grabbed him up. I saw him, trust me, I, this is how, cause I looked and I saw the gopher was digging like this. <laughs> he looked really mad, dude. No man, he looked really mad. Like who the heck put these sand into my house? Like he looked really mad, dude. Man, his face looked like scary, dude. And with with, with his two big teeth in front of that, like that, like looking around, like man, you come out here, I'm gonna bite you, dude. Dude, right when I saw him, like like you know what I mean? I'm like this. <laughs> you know, it's really freaky. He's looking for the suspect who did that to his house, right? So so then um. So then I got freaked out, you know what I mean? And I'm like, man, there's no way I can catch this gopher or try to destroy him because one, there, there was one time, right? I was trying to put water into the, his, uh, the gopher hole to uh, like, you know, make flush him out. And then my back, back door neighbor, Danny, he came back, he was walking. He, he's an old uh, senior, like o over 70, right? He was pushing the trash out here and he saw me. He's like, Hey, Senor Johnny, what are you doing? <laughs> the way he said it with cracking voice, like, hey, hey, Senor Johnny. <laughs> so I look at him, I say, oh, hi, hi there, Daddy. How are you doing today? I'm doing good, Senor. <laughs> so cute, right? So, so I told him, oh, yeah, uh, Danny, I got a gopher in my backyard, and I'm just trying to catch him. And then, and then he was all telling me, oh, oh, you can't catch him like that. <laughs> you know, because he saw me holding water hole. So he's assuming, you know, maybe I, I tried to flush him out with the thing, you know. <laughs> you know? So, so uh, he was pushing the trash. And, and, and then he said, you can't catch him like that. He's all telling me, like, he recommend that they sell some pellet or something that you put inside the Gulf for eat and he, he become dry or, or die or something. Or, or come out and look for water. That's the, the method he tell me they, they sell those things to, to destroy the gopher, right? So I told him, I don't want to uh, kill the gopher. I just want to catch the gopher, right? I just want to catch the gopher and I put him somewhere else so he can live happy and I can live happy, right? So so then, then he's like, uh, he's all telling me, oh, when you catch the gopher, where are you gonna put him? Don't tell me you can put him in my backyard. <laughs> <laughs> He's so funny. Don't, don't tell me you're gonna put the gopher in my backyard. <laughs> you know, I look like, why would I do something like that? <laughs> well, maybe I would, because <laughs> his backyard is newer, nicer than mine now. Because <laughs> I'm jealous now. Maybe, hey, you know, yeah, I should put the gopher in his backyard. So his, his backyard can look like mine now. <laughs>
<laughs> so it's funny. So I told him. So I told him. So um, since I'm not using these pellets to destroy them or whatever, he was asking me. So so um, so how are you gonna catch it? So I told him just like the cowboy. You know how the rope thing, the rope, right? To catch the horses. That's why I told him I'm gonna put the rope where the gopher hole is where he dig, right? So I'm gonna stand like 10 feet away, just waiting for him to come out so I can yank the rope, right? Right where the gopher, you know, maybe pick up, I yank, you know, maybe oh! <laughs> That's how I catch the gopher. That's why I tell him my master plan. So um, he didn't say anything. He was looking around like, you know, like, oh yeah, maybe it'll work, you know what I mean? So, so um, that's what I tell him. I'm gonna uh, use like the cowboy style and just yank it right when he pick up, I yank the rope, you know, so I can, you know, make catch him all right so so then that's that's my idea to him to catch the gopher but then um but the gopher is really smart man they can sense like danger or they can sense that something is trying to do something to them or, or try and catch them they, they can sense that all right so one time i see the gopher was digging the hole right so i came by there right i just tell my wife you know what um i'm gonna wear a glove okay i'm gonna Okay, the gopher's right there. He's digging right there. So I'm gonna wear the glove, all right? You just come out with me because I'm so afraid, man. The gopher might bite me or like right when I try and grab him, he bite me and a whole army of gopher might come on just just attack me. <laughs> I just wanna make sure my, my wife is around in case something happens to you. Yeah, no. They might just grab you and pull you into their hole, you know? You know, so so the gopher is really smart, man. So I came out with the glove, right? You know those dishwashing glove where you put in. So I was ready because I know the gopher is right there, digging, right? So I was ready, put in the glove, ready, right? So I told my wife, okay, right when the gopher uh, picked up, I'm gonna grab him, right? I'm gonna grab him real fast, okay? So I stand there for five minutes, man. All right, five minutes. The gopher never even peeked out, man. Never. It seemed like they can sense someone's there. Right, so the gopher never peek out. So I stand up for five minutes. So I, so in my mind, I'm thinking maybe they can smell my breath or something, right? And they can sense that someone's there by the breath. So I hold my breath, approximately one minute. You know what I mean? Uh, one minute. After one minute, all of a sudden, you see the gopher. Okay, I look in the hole. I, I see there's a gopher eye. You know, like like peeking out slow like this. Like that. You know what I mean? I saw his eye. You know what I mean? I saw his eye. I'm like. I'm like, come on, come out, come out, you know what I mean? But he never uh, came out. He just peeked his eye out a little bit, looked at me. He saw me, he looked at me like this, right? I saw him too, his eye, because, all right, he just peeked out and looked at me. So I, 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 I tried to communicate. Oh, come on, please come out so I can catch you and put you somewhere where it's peaceful, where you can where, where you can live peacefully without ruining my lawn, you know what I mean? And then the gopher never came out. So I, I tried to communicate, come on, please come out. You know, I'm, I'm not gonna hurt you, I, I promise. You know what I mean? My, my words to you, you know what I mean? I'm not gonna hurt you. All right, the gopher peeked out, you know, never came out. All right. And so then I, I, I think like, I put myself in the gopher's shoe, you know, I mean, the reason why he don't come out or the why, the reason why when I stopped breathing, like, like hold my breath, he came out, is because if I put myself in his shoe, you know, if I'm the gopher, I peek out, it's like, I'm. I'm like, bitch, I only peek out to see if you're okay, man, because I, I noticed you you, you stop breathing. I just want to make sure you're still there, all right? You want to die, you know, I'm going to die somewhere else. Don't die on my lawn. <laughs> so, so the gopher, was, you know, he peeked out because he knows something hold his breath, because I hold my breath, so that's the reason why he knows. Uh, this guy is, is maybe dead or something, you know, because, you know, he's not breathing. So he peeked out to make sure I'm okay, you know what I mean? So, go for it. I told you, man, they're really smart, dude. You know, and, and they're very hardworking animal. They're one of the hardest working animal ever, dude. Like I tell you, Ray, one night, man, they dig like five, six holes one, in one night. With their mouth, dude. You, you imagine if they're digging something with your mouth, you know how long it takes to dig with your mouth, right? So, uh, so then, you know, I, I realized I can't catch the gopher, right? I can't catch the gopher, and I I have to try to brainwash myself to live with it, right? So I brainwash, okay, he's my pet, he's my pet, he's my pet. I gotta take care of my pet, right? 
So I brainwashed myself to think that he's my pet. I gotta take care of my pet. So the next day, what I did is I grabbed a loaf of bread, a couple slices of bread, I put it into the gopher, you know, right, his gopher hole, all right? So, and then the next day I came out and I see the bread I put into the hole, he, he spit it all out into the ground, right? And I looked at it, he, he didn't even eat it, right? So I know why. You know, because I, I was just curious why he didn't eat it, you know what I mean? It's like, I'm trying to be nice to him, like feed him, you know what I mean? But then I put myself in the gopher uh, shoe, like, you know what I mean? If I'm the gopher, I'm thinking like, man, he, first he tried to catch me, now he's trying to beat me? You think I'm stupid or what? That bread is laced with poison. <laughs> gopher is smart, dude, I'm telling you, man. So I researched. I researched uh, what to go for eat, you know, because I really want to feed them, be friends with them, you know, because like they said, if you can't beat them, join them, you know, so I tried to make him manipulate my mind to think that he's my pet, I'm raising and take care of my pet. So I searched around for go for what to go for eat. And they said go for mainly just eat whatever they dig underneath, like like bugs, spider, or whatever the insect they can find out there to eat, right? So they're really smart because if you look carefully, okay, like, like bugs and stuff, if they move, he'll eat it, right? So in other words, I'm saying if I lace the bug or, or you know what I mean, or the spider with poison, the, the, the bug and the spider would die, you know? So the gopher come by, he's like, oh, this guy, this thing is dead. Look, his face is purple, so it's laced with poison. <laughs> so, you know, spider's really smart, right? He will only eat whatever is moving and crawling, all right? So the thing, like I experienced with spider, you know, the, the thing with, with uh, the gopher, they, they're they very smart and intelligent creature, dude. And they're very precise with the digging tunnel, dude. They're re really, dude, they're, man, I, I gotta say, they are one of the smartest creatures, dude, for real. Because I encountered the gopher living with me for like, like over two years, you know what I mean? Now the gopher is no, no longer in the front, uh, backyard, he's in the front yard now. <laughs> man, it's crazy, dude. So you know, over there, over, um, you know, across from Mexico, you know how there's a border between Mexico and the U.S. And you know how the drug smuggle, the, the drug across the border is because they dig tunnel, right? A tunnel from this warehouse or whatever company over in Mexico, right? Dig a tunnel over across the border into another warehouse, right? And then they smuggle that way. So when I look at that, I'm like, wow. So the guy who created that invention got to be a gardener who dealt with, um, with the gopher, right? So he actually learned the trade skill of the gopher, the gopher technology, right? Right, to dig tunnel, because that's, I believe, man, trust me, it, it comes from the gopher technology, how they dig tunnel from here to the other one, right? Because now the gopher's in the front yard, and I know this across the street to my neighbor, there's another uh, house with gopher hole all over. So what I think is they are doing some type of smuggling, you know, the gopher smuggling some type of thing. Maybe it smuggle bugs across the border, right? So he's trying to smuggle like maybe bugs or insect from my, bo my border over to the other neighbor border, right? Because I, I see there's a line of hole from here all the way there, right? So I think that's what they're doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one more thing. It's really funny, okay? I was watering the lawn one day, and then I saw a, um, a dead animal, right? It looks like the gopher, you know, have fur all over. All, something chew up that thing, like all smashed up and chewed up, right? And so I was watering the lawn. I'm like, Oh, the gopher is this. You know, someone got the, you know what I mean? I was all excited, yep. <laughs> because the gopher is gone now, right? And then I was watering the grass for a little bit, and then, and then later on I feel, oh man, that's pretty sad, you know, because some type of animal, maybe the cat or something, catch the gopher and chew it up. You know how when they eat, the cat eat or something, the, the gopher, right? Or something, it's smashed, completely smashed. It seems like they bite it and suck out the juice of the, the, the Whatever, dude, it's all smashed, dude. It looks scary, dude. When I saw that, I, I, I feel sad, you know. I'm like, oh man, it's like, you know what I mean? I know the gopher for like two years already, you know, so so I got sad, so I took the shovel, you know, I dig up the, the but it, it looks scary, dude. The way how I dig up the gopher, like the, you know. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, it looks scary. I, I don't even dare to look at the car. So I grab it. I bring it to the gopher hole. You know how he has a hole there? I put it into the hole. I bury that, that gopher that I assume is a gopher, right? I bury the gopher. And the next day, okay, I woke up. I tell you, honestly, all right? I saw that cork, that gopher cork dragged. Okay, that hole was digged up. And the cork was dragged uh, like 10 feet away. Okay, and the cork was there. So in my mind, I'm like, oh my goodness, that's a, that's a freaking gopher zombie, you know? I just woke up from the dead and start walking, you know what I mean? So I got freaked out, honest truth. So I keep thinking, you know, maybe it's the cat, you know, dig up the, the gopher, you know what I mean? Overnight, you know what I mean? So so I think I got freaked out, you know? I'm like, wow, how can a corpse just, you know, move out from that hole and move to a different location, you know? Like, right, so I got freaked out. And then during that daytime, like, like maybe uh, hours later, I noticed something else is digging the, the ground on the outside. So I, I noticed, okay, the gopher's still alive, right? The gopher's still digging the, the ground on the back. So I, I, so I noticed that the gopher is, is it's not dead. It's actually still there, but he's finding a different location because he, he moved from this location because somebody plays so dirty, uh, throw a dead corpse inside his own. <laughs> But, but you know, you have to look, put yourself in the gopher shoe, okay? Imagine, okay, how the heck did that gopher drag that that dead corpse, you know what I mean? From that hole outside to like 10 feet away, all right? It's it, it's not like he has hand to drag that thing. They ha He has to like, you know, grab that corpse with his mouth, with his teeth, like, you know, and drag it for like 10 feet away and then throw it <laughs> <laughs> you think about it, it's pretty insane, dude. It's like, I'm like, damn, I don't even dare touch that corp, that, that, that dead corp, you know what I mean? But he, that gopher can, dude, with his mouth, his teeth, dude. <laughs> All right, so I examined that corp, you know, and, and I realized it's actually a, uh, a corp looked more uh, sim similar to a squirrel. So I think that that's a squirrel uh, corp. It's not the gopher. So the gopher is still there, you know. But now he's in the front yard now. It's pretty insane, man. Like if you guys have gopher living in your backyard or something, you know the the drama and, and the thing they, they cost to your backyard, man. It's pretty insane, dude. You know, because cause I experienced this for like over two years already. And I can't catch it. The only way uh, to destroy them is you have to call a terminator to come and terminate the, the, the gopher, which I really don't want to do. You know, I don't want to destroy any, you know, I mean, critic. You know, so I just let them live. That's the reason why, man. You know, it's like you know, my whole house, everything, everything is like you know, I mean, all over with birds, rabbits, gopher. You know, what I mean. <laughs> All right, guys, so today I just want to share with you guys my gopher story and what's around my house. You know, there's birds, there's rabbits in our front yard, you know what I mean? And and right now the gopher, it's gone, but then I hope, you know what I mean, that, you know, maybe he can move to the neighbors or something. <laughs> you know, because, because, you know, the neighbor has a lot of green grass over there. It might be suitable for him to live. <laughs> You know? All right, guys. So today, that's it. This is my story and what I eat for my storytelling is tangerine. All right? And the gopher story and the dead birds and the rabbits, okay? That's what living around my, my house, okay? All right, guys. So this is it for my story. And I'll see you guys next time on my next video. All right? As for now, take care. And I'll see you soon. Love you guys.